health scare in 2019 changed a Minnesota woman and an award-winning author's life in the kitchen forever. Jane Jones, or the No Sugar Baker, is with us now on, on Zoom. Jane, good morning to you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Tell us your story because it is quite a compelling one. Oh my gosh, it's so real, it's so true. So got sick on my 46th birthday. I basically had the flu for about two weeks. No one knew what was wrong with me. After I had a tooth and nail, my husband dragged me to the emergency room where my blood pressure was like 280 over 180. I mean, absolutely, I was inches away from having a stroke. They diagnosed me with diabetes. No one ever mentioned the D word before for me. So I was told, you need to eat lean meats and salads the rest of your life. Well, hey, as a Minnesota girl, I grew up on Tater Tot Hot Dish. I wasn't used to eating lean meats and salads, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. I way to get back in the kitchen to make some treats and goodies that everybody can enjoy, everyone can look without sugar. I went completely sugar-free, completely medicine-free, and my eyesight is back to 2020, and my A1C is down to below average. It's That's awesome. amazing, yeah, and, and to have that kind of purpose, too. Show us what's in front of you. What are you making today? Oh my gosh, I'm making a Minnesota favorite. It's the No Sugar Baker Blueberry Muffin. I don't know a Minnesotan who doesn't like blueberry muffins, mm. so I had to figure out a way to make it. The batter includes an almond flour and sour cream. And then you take, this is a fun trick, you take cream cheese and a little bit of swerve, which is an all-natural sweetener. You put it right on top of the batter. I'll give you a little shot here since we're at home. Right on top of the batter. Then you fill up with a little bit more of the blueberry muffin batter, which you can get online at www.nosugarbaker.com. Then, who does not like the crunch of a muffin, right? The muffin top is the best part. You take almond flour along with a little bit of a sweetener, and then you just top it right off, like right on top, just like so, onto all of them, just like so. And then you get this awesome blueberry muffin. You get the crunch, you get the cream cheese right in the middle. And trust me, you don't miss the no sugar at all. You, can you won't even tell. You no did, Jane, though, you did say sweetener. So help explain, help us understand what is the sweetener that goes in there? Why is it, um, why have you found in your experience that it's a better alternative? Right, it's, you know, it doesn't have the, it's all natural. I use Swerve, that's what I prefer. It does not raise my blood sugar at all. It's all natural, like I said. It doesn't also have that funky taste. Sometimes the, the, the artificial sweeteners come with a really bad funky taste. This one's got no funky taste to it at all. And you know what, I have to be very careful of also natural sugars. So for me, blueberries, front of the diabetic, very low in carbohydrates, very low in the natural sugar. So I can actually bake and use blueberries along with raspberries and also strawberries a little bit in our in the cookbook that just came out two weeks ago. So it sounds like there's maybe some wiggle room on, on finding a sweetener that works for you. What should people look oh for gosh. and how, how yeah. have your re recipes adju adjusted for them? Right, absolutely. You do need to find what works best for you, right? There's no magic formula for every single person. It's your your formula for your body. Swear works for me because it does not raise my blood sugar at all. And again, it delivers that taste of what seems to be like the real sweetness that you want to have, right? Without it being um, actual sugar that's being poured into my body, which would make me sick. So the, the cookbook, you can find it at nosugarbaker.com. has over 100 recipes. I have not figured out a way yet to master the tater tot hot dish minus the tater tots, but we're working on it. Okay, great. What a tease there, Jane. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for sharing your recipes.